So we're going to start by, by reading from John 16. And I'm going to pick up in verse 5 and read through 11. But now I go away to him who sent me. This is Jesus speaking. And none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and righteousness and judgment. Of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. Jesus here refers to the Holy Spirit as Him. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is not a force. So not, he, he is not an it. So Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Father, they're all God. They're the same being. But they're different persons. The Holy Spirit is God in the fullest, complete. There's no lack in His deity. He is fully God, but He is a distinct person. He is, he is not Jesus. When, when Jesus was being baptized, He was physically there in the body. And the Holy Spirit, who is not Jesus, descended like a dove, and the Father, who is not Jesus, spoke. But they're all God. One in being, there's one God, three distinct persons. All right? Now, the Holy Spirit's not a force. The Holy Spirit is a person. Jesus, in these passages, calls him the helper. The helper, Paracletus. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but that's as close as I can get. Which means helper, intercessor, advocate. The Holy Spirit has been given to help us. You have help like you couldn't believe. You have God himself who has come to be your helper. And yet oftentimes we look around, where is my help? I have no help. I need help. No, you have help. It's the Holy Spirit. He was given to help you. Jesus tells us what the Holy Spirit's primary ministry is in these passages. He says that when He comes, He will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. This is the primary work, the primary ministry of the Holy Spirit is doing these things. And how does He do these things? He points to Jesus. The Holy Spirit, listen, this is very important. The Holy Spirit is constantly pointing to Jesus. That's what he does. Now, I opened up by saying we've lost focus or an understanding or we've, we don't talk about the Holy Spirit like we used to in much of the church because here's what's happened in a lot of the church today. The pendulum has swung way over to one side on this topic where all they talk about is the Holy Spirit. And they make, they make the Holy Spirit, they make Him the focus. If the Holy Spirit is the focus, something is wrong. And that is not actually the Holy Spirit working. Because the Holy Spirit always makes much of Jesus. Just like Jesus glorifies the Father. Jesus is always pointing to the Father, and the Holy Spirit is always pointing to Jesus. That's their position. That's what they do. That's part of who they are. That's their ministry. That's their work. So a telltale sign that something is off is when the Holy Spirit is the one in focus, is the one who is being uh, focused upon in the ministry. It's all about the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. We're, and, and so here's what's happened in this, 
in this pendulum swing. Because this is what happens with pendulums. Have you ever taken a pendulum and put it over to one side? Does it stop in the middle? No, it swings all the way over to the other side. So the church reacted to this movement by almost ignoring the Holy Spirit entirely. And, well, if we talk about the Holy Spirit, people might start getting radical. Good! We could use a little more radical. But radical about Jesus. A focus on Him. Living to glorify Him. Living to make Him known. That's what the Holy Spirit would do in your life if you give yourself over to Him. He will draw you closer to Jesus and He will make much of His name. That's what he came to do. He came to convict the world of sin, pointing to Jesus. He came to convict the world of righteousness, pointing to Jesus. He came to convict the world of judgment, pointing to Jesus. It's all about Jesus. That's his ministry.